I wanted to try as best I could with the tools I had at my disposal, which were just words, uh, to explain what this company means to me, what I think it is that we do, and what it's so important about us and what we do and, and what we mean to each other. So, um, yeah. Uh, doesn't have a title, so, man. <laughs> been a hot minute since I've been to church. No, it's been a fiery minute since I've been to church because when I left it was like being shot from a cannon with a fuse that I lit myself. It was dramatic on the inside but quiet on the out. Like a suffocation, lungs blazing, mind screaming, just begging for all this to finish. But on the out, I just left one day and never return. Maybe I told the pastor I was going out for a pack of smokes. I don't know. It's been a minute since I've been to church. But I'm worshiping right now because I'm in a holy place. Had to take my shoes off just to get on this stage. I think Moses might understand. The floor is still warm from the offering that's been burning here. And if you breathe deeply enough, you can smell the sage of sacrifice and sweat and blood and one too many cigarettes and stage fright fighting whiskey shots. Our holy text are fresh burdens of love. And if you look at them too hard, the ink might run. So we do drink it up until it drips from our lips and then we spit it back onto that sacrificial square and make no mistake, we do come here to make sacrifice. Our scribes let the anxiety of failure and the call of bed move their fingers across keyboards that hate them, staring into a screen that offers nothing but blank white challenge. And at the dawn, they whisk their hard-won words to the wind where they're picked up and carried to the masses. <laughs> if you think snake-handling Pentecostals have a lot of faith, you should really see a director who was handed a script 12 hours before. <laughs> That shit doesn't move mountains. That makes motherfucking theater. <laughs> and the actors study that script like it was the Torah, reciting and repeating until it's tattooed on their brain. What'd you think we're all drinking to forget the after party? <laughs> Costumes or whatever you had in your closet. Tax try to make scenes with paint can lights. Production hunts the dollar stores for props until they say, fuck it, I'll just make it out of cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> Food is made and served to people with barely enough time to taste it. The dress rehearsal makes us wonder what the fuck we just wasted our Saturday doing. And then there's asses in seats, and we know some of those asses, and we really hope that they don't feel like they wasted their Saturday night with us because we were doing this all for them. We did this all for them. We did this all for you. That's a lie like Santa Claus is a lie. That's a lie like affordable fucking college is a lie. That's a lie like vegan cheese is a fucking lie. It sounds appetizing, but the truth is a little harder to swallow. We did this for us because we're finding something in this crazy mess that looks like us. And even though it's fleeting, we just want to grab on and never let go because then we might forget what we look like. Bankers and waiters, teachers and tackies and students and artists were just looking for that fix that comes when you give in to the Holy Spirit of theater. She is one cruel fucking goddess, but mercy comes in the morning. So, <clears throat> welcome to my church. Turn your cell phones off and Start praying. <laughs> Unwrap your candies and crack open your beers. Pull out your prayer mats and your mala beads. Please sing along if you're asked to. And laugh when appropriate. Communion will be served after the service is done. 